ground, gas closeouts. Today's payload will be able to respond real time to surges in demand in hotspot areas while serving three times the number of customers over traditional mobile satellite systems. Coming up shortly, Falcon 9 will be in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. LD, go for launch. We just heard from the launch director. Falcon 9 is go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off. Go Falcon, go Soraya. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Anyone need chamber pressures from Alpha? Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. During ascent, we tilt the engines, or gimbal the engines, and that turns the rocket Power horizontally nominal. in what we call a gravity turn. We're still going up, but now we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. Moments ago, we, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is a critical moment during flight Falcon because the... Is supersonic because the combined stresses caused by Falcon 9 accelerating through Max the atmosphere Q. and the ambient static pressure are at their greatest. Just had max Q. The rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and get into orbit. You can track Impact our progress started. to orbit by keeping an eye on the, on the stage one telemetry in the bottom corner of your screen. We have several events coming up in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff, or MECO, stage separation, second engine start one, or SES one, and fairing separation. During MECO, we'll shut down the nine Merlin 1D engines, which is followed by stage separation. Once separated from the second stage, the booster will begin heading back to Earth, while simultaneously the second stage MVAC engine will ignite for the first time, followed quickly by fairing separation. Great views right there. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. In recognition. In there you heard and even saw those events that happened back to back, including Miko, Stage Sep, SES1. We should be coming up on fairing separation shortly. And we'll be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today once they fall back to Earth using our recovery vessel, Doug. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see those grid fins deploying on the booster. Fairing separation confirmed. 
an awesome call out and view of fairing separation. Reminder, we are planning to retrieve these fairing halves again today using our recovery vessel duck. All vehicles are on nominal trajectories. We're now T plus four minutes and 37 seconds into today's mission. At about T plus six minutes and 24 seconds, the first stage's entry burn will begin. And for the entry burn, we relight three of the M1D engines on the first stage, starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly after by the E1 and E5 engines, which slows down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow down to reduce re-entry forces, which ultimately helps us recover and reuse the first stage. We are coming up on that entry burn pretty shortly, but for now we have some great views of stage two and of MVAC continuing to burn. We're switching back and forth between two camera views that we have stage on stage one, two. Stage one, entry burn started. Stage one, AFTS is saved. An awesome view of entry burn on the first stage. During entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we're still moving really fast. And if you look at the bottom left-hand side of your screen, you can see Falcon 9 Stage 1 is slowing down really fast. Stage 1 entry burn shut down. And that marks the end of entry burn. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical scientific research. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission will had just performed this entry burn for its 20th time. The Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level, and these achieve around 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and re-entry. Stage two, terminal guidance. The MVAC engine is optimized to operate in space, producing 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Coming up next, we'll shut down our MVAC engine on the second stage, followed quickly by our landing burn on the first stage. And as a reminder, we'll be attempting to land on our drone ship named a shortfall of Gravitas. Stage one transonic. Which recently saw its 100th successful landing. Stage two FTS is saved. Nominal orbit insertion. Great callouts there. Second engine cut off one. And we are currently in landing burn. And waiting for Falcon 9 to land on the drone. Landing leg deployed. Stage one landing confirmed. And there you have it. That landing marks SpaceX's 341st successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. And with that, let's return to our mission in progress. We're awaiting confirmation of nominal orbital insertion.